<laughs> All right. I'd like myself there for a second if I... Well, I probably will include that clip just because I'm goofy like that. But I'm about to go edit this video now, so I realized I don't think I gave it a great introduction. Hi! I haven't made a video in a minute. This is just going to be me rambling and playing with my violin and talking about my life, how it's been, and who's been in front, and other, like, little system stuff. Here with Jimmy James and... Random unnamed tie-dye puppy. <laughs> Fuck me, because I didn't think of a fucking intro. This might just be very wonky, the whole video. I want it to seem really personal and kind of show you what I'm like. And I don't know if it does a great job of it, but certainly I tried. All you can ever ask is that I try. Thank you. I haven't done one of these in a long frickin' time. Hold on. I can't get back into it, so we're just opening in hard cut. Hey everybody, you're being held up by a plushie, hope that's okay. We're gonna be learning today, Devil Went Down to Georgia on the violin, even though I have not practiced it in a really long time. I barely remember how to hold it, let alone tune it, so we're gonna tune it real quick on camera. Let's see here. Ooh, it sounds like shit. play a violin. So we're learning from scratch with no teacher because nothing works for me except experience. I gotta be a little freak about the violin for a little bit. Stop it. See if we can get the first couple notes. First three fucking notes. I'm sweating like balls. A little setup here. I've got my violin here. My case. I've got to turn on the fan. Hold on. I can't breathe. It's so fucking hot. So we're gonna take a small break and I'm gonna tell you about my rubber duck that I got. So my partner goes to work every day and he cleans and sometimes he finds ducks and he brings them to me. Um, it is Lucy, if it matters to you, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and mostly Lucy right now. And he brought me this duck today, and I think it's great. I think his, he told me that he should be named Stryker. And I agree, because he's, uh, he's glitter and gold. You know, like, fascinating. He's tiny. Look at him on my violin. Look how small that thing is. I have an entire duck army growing now. Excuse the sound and lighting, I'm sure you can get over it, but here's my duck collection so far, and here he goes with everybody else, because I love him. Fuck. What are they called? These two are the Secret Service. There's the President. This is one of the other guards. This is the Vice President. This is the Celebrity. It may look like someone to you if you are following me at all on other topics. He looks just like Vox to me. There's the other little sniper guard. But like, the little crew all together. All my plushies. It's been a long several years. I've been into this stuff for over a decade now, but I've only really just been in a position where I can actually focus on it. So you'll be getting more, hopefully, like system content and stuff. I'm just showing my tie-dye puppy, who still does not have a name, off while I talk because I don't know what else to do on camera. I'm trying to catch my breath, and it's so fucking hot right now. I can't keep up the same quality the entire time of the video, so we're going to be a little erratic today. You saw me learn the first few notes of uh, Devil Went Down to Georgia on the violin, and I'm going to try to turn the fan off in just a second and do it again um, from memory and see if I can just keep learning one piece at a time. It's going to be tedious, it's going to be tedious, but I'm going to try to make a video about it. We'll fucking see how that goes. Okay, guys? You know what I mean? Like, we're getting there. We're getting there. Mitten's not been the host for a good second. Ordinarily... I'd be one 
hold on. Ordinarily, I'd be one to show off my top surgery, but I am just overwhelmed at the idea of staring at myself on camera, completely shirtless. To who knows who's you like viewing my channel? I this is for like, I guess, invisible people, niche people. You don't have to content comment. Fuck, you don't have to comment or interact or anything with my videos, you just have to gain something from them, you know? The only one who needs to gain anything from them, really, is myself, because they're for future me, and this is more of a diary that can be public, because it's like, I have other places I post private stuff, and you'll never know, because it's private, you know? So my legs are probably going to come into the shop, which is why I wear socks. I don't know how many people can tell who is fronting by watching our demeanor, but I know for a fact that I can tell from these videos who it is, and I know that I'm going to be able to tell it's me. It's Lucy, obviously. Alistair's right behind me, and sometimes he inputs his thoughts, too, and you can... Let's learn Devil Went Down to Georgia. It was, uh... I don't know how much more of this I'll be doing. It's a little bit ridiculous, but it's not really content to just sit there and watch me plug its strings incorrectly for a while. I think I heard the neighbor. Yeah, you come here to listen to me poorly play the violin. Are you listening to me right now? Man, I can't fucking speak today. Why is it so goddamn embarrassing to record a video if someone else can hear you when you're literally posting it on YouTube to infinitely large amounts of strangers. For some reason I can just act like myself when I'm completely alone on here, but I can't do it if someone's like watching me. And I know y'all are like looking at my forehead glistening because it's it's wet in here. I mean it's 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 hot in here, I mean <laughs> uh, it's so fucking hot. But uh life finds a way. And we'll see. We'll fucking see. So I found what I need and we're gonna go ahead and get on with it. So, as I've mentioned in earlier in the video, it has been about two years since I actually made anything. And I'm sure all zero followers are wondering where I've been. Probably won't be doing that the whole video. I don't really care who sees this, as I've said before, and I will probably utter again because I'm repetitive. This is for myself, and myself only. Future me. This is how this has panned out. Less distractions now. We finished out that year with Inthrum being the main host. In Zim changed his name to Inthrum. I'm getting really out of order. For once, I have a script, okay? Don't peek! I saw you look at that. You can't peek at it. Inthrum was really open about himself and told several co-workers about who he was. And it was way easier to be plural around them. And we had split a couple of guys previously to him coming out, and they occasionally would come out. But our whole system list has changed. I'm just kind of updating really, like, poorly here. If you've noticed, I've been active on my Inspire Husky channel, and I will link that in the description. We met some people. The place we were staying at got really expensive. So I ended up moving in with my mom, specifically. I was going to move in with the people I met, my partners at the time. They were two plurals. During that time that I was living with my mom, Mr. Wolf formed, Sherlock was able to come out a lot, and Kiba. Now, those guys all have a lot in common, but I don't know how to, like, link that thread together. Just know that they and that little bundle are, like, weirdly specific people to all come out at the same time. After that, we moved to Cincinnati about midsummer. We wrapped the switch for most of the time, but stuff came up, and I'm not going to get into it, but I had to move back to my hometown. Previously from moving to Cincinnati, I had never lived anywhere but that hometown. And then I moved to this big-ass town, and then had to go back home. We didn't have, like, a set host, even though they liked Inthrum a lot, and he just could not front for some reason. So Finn and Simon fronted from Adventure Time. They formed in the system and were, like, active for a while. Somewhere in between that time period, Inthrum fronted for about a month. Sometime just after that, Jackie formed with the rest of the Xenocats crew, which... You can see content about Xenocats on my Inspire Husky channel, as well as my Tumblr. Inthrum fronted again for a while, and then Kiba did. If you don't know, Kiba is like an all-time, like, historical host, so that was pretty normal. He and Inthrum shared the front a lot. Blitz came back, which, interesting thing about Blitz, he once crammed himself into the back of Headspace and claimed that he was going to make himself disappear because he didn't want to be in a system. He didn't know enough about himself to be a fully like, formed, thoughtful, with-his-own-memories kind of guy. 
He didn't know what his body looked or felt like. He didn't have any of his past life memories. So that was extremely stressful for him. It was a very difficult time up until that point. When suddenly something clicked in our heads, and it could have been that we were starting to talk to some other new system, which I'll get to. <laughs> he came out at the same time as their Blitz did, and it was wonderful. Things just clicked. Fireworks. Like, our Blitz just, it made sense. Oh, this is who I am. Fizz formed, and Moxie had been around with Blitz before, and he came out too. It was wonderful. He and Moxie were kind of a crew and inseparable. Then Stryker formed. And we started phone calls with this person we'd been talking to for like a while. We became very, very close. I ended up moving to a different place. It was kind of a dream home of mine, so everything is wonderful here. And then suddenly, Alistair formed, perfectly matching their system's host, who was Fox at the time. Then I formed Lucifer, Morningstar, the, the devil, devil from, from the, the Bible. Bible. So you know, Satan? Satan formed, and me and Alistair are really close. At first, Alistair was really put off by me. The stereotypical representation of Alistair was my experience when I first got into the system, but that's not how I remember our past lives being. And he couldn't access those memories until way into me harassing him. See, I didn't harass him. He's going to, like, mock me relentlessly for this one. I remembered being, kind, like, queer platonic, kinda. Partners, I would just say. We had romantic interactions a bit, but he's less of a romantic than I am. And he was kind of like the house pet to me and Adam, my partner system's current host. He's our best friend. <laughs> Over the course of this year, this two years, or whatever amount of time, you know what, I need to do the math. I don't know any of this, for sure. I don't know, like, direct details. I'm just reading from my notes and kind of distantly remembering my memory. I have short-term memory like a goldfish. We kind of changed our view on plurality, and it's more like we understand ourselves rather than we didn't accept. Like, if you read some of our old system posts or, like, descriptions, it kind of shows, like, oh, we thought it was this, like, thing, but it actually turned out to be a mental disorder. I don't think it's a disorder. I think everyone on some level can and is plural, possibly. So as a whole being, this body and this identity is called Michael, and we view him as kind of like guardian angels who live within him. Like, oh, no, 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 do it like this. We take care of you now. But it's not taking it from anyone because Michael has always been either Inthrum or Kiba or Jack or Micah or any of these other beings. In a good way to describe it, there's everyone accessing this computer through a portal that lives within our consciousness. We are ourselves a portal as Michael. Let me just give a little list of who all is around nowadays. Here we go. Here we go. This looks up to date. I'm just going to list names. Alistair, Archangel Michael, Blitzo, Bojack, Cadence, Finn Martins, Fizzerali, Hilda, Inthrum Bickerman, Jackie, Kiba, Lucifer Morningstar, Maya Arctic Eclipse, Mitten, Moxie, Mr. Wolf, Robin, Sherlock, Simon, Stryker, and Vox. There are other beings still living within the headspace. For example, yes, for those asking, Gobber is still around. Gobber is a regular headmate that occasionally comes through and speaks. No, I don't know why he's there. I don't know why someone like Micah would fade, but Gobber is still there. Yes, he helps me cook sometimes, and yes, he does have mean things to say about it all, but I always take it as a compliment. We all love him. You know who I'm talking to. Take all of that as lighthearted, please. The canyons are, like, just luxurious right now. Everything is coated with a soft layer of plant life that survives underwater. We now have electricity that flows through the rocks, through the plants, through these particular living things that incorporate electricity to stay alive. It now powers the entire rest of Headspace, and it all stems from this one big tree in the center that we call the Love Tree. Now, the love tree is a little weird to explain. I will, again, go over this more in the future, but it's kind of like the embodiment of things important to us. And it was completely wrecked. It was just a stump with, like, nothing on top of it for a long time because, you know, someone destroyed it. Eventually, all of the dust cleared and all of the carnage and all of the destruction cleared and it was dry for a long time. 
but everything is flourishing now. The water is flowing freely. The tunnels make it to where things do not flood. We have crypts now for the uh, inner space headmates to live in and thrive and be comfortable in. They never have to come out, they never have to talk and show up for roll call, but since they get their way, they can now say that they're part of the system while not showing up for roll call, not being on simply plural, and not being on plural kit. The future of this channel is going to be very up in the air. I'm not making any money, so I can't pay for a nice little cap cut subscription like I used to make. Bam! That is singular merch, guys. Go buy it. But there's other merch on there, too. You want to support me and my partner and buy us some food and uh, probably nothing else. <laughs> I'm, I'm not used to wearing clothes anymore. I only wear stuff like this. I thought Jimmy James would be a great one to end this video off with. We're going to make up a tiny little ending song. It's the end of the video. Please go away now. It's the end of the video. Now please go away now. I can't think of a good ending to give this video.